You know, March 25th was a day that UK hospital went on lockdown after a man considered armed and dangerous went there to visit a relative. His dramatic arrest was caught on video and what police say they found on him and in his car led to a massive ATF explosions investigation, not only there, but at his home. Well, tonight for the first time, we know exactly what the feds found. LEX 18's Lee Searcy was able to get her hands on the court documents for this LEX 18 investigates. <laughs> We've learned a lot more since the day Brian Carroll was seen on security video walking into UK hospital with body armor and loaded guns. As he left, UK police were waiting for him, rushing and tackling the 44 year old to the ground after Versailles police tipped them off. He was going there to see his mother and was likely armed and dangerous. Inside his car, they found more loaded guns plus explosives. What they recovered outside the hospital here is just a drop in the bucket compared to what the feds and bomb techs found at Carroll's home in Versailles. According to this federal search warrant, the home was packed with homemade bomb making materials that could have been disastrous. The fine print list runs a page and a half long. It includes guns, electronics, a Department of Army manual on explosives and demolition plus several hundred rounds of ammo, along with fuel, fireworks, and mortars. After Carroll's arrest, ATF and FBI agents asked him about possible devices or other dangerous items at the home. In this affidavit, it states Carroll told them, there's places to be concerned. Maybe I should go there if you don't want anyone to get hurt, end quote. He said in a freezer there was 25 pounds of an explosive. For three days, the ATF, FBI, and other police agencies conducted a tedious search of Carroll's home, inside and out, safely detonating some devices on site. Burn the home! Several nearby homes were evacuated, and for good reason. Multiple sources tell us, given all that was found, people could have gotten hurt had the materials exploded. Woodford County's EMS director credits local, state, and federal authorities for carrying out a well-organized plan of action. We had no incidents whatsoever. Nobody was hurt from start to finish, and we are very thankful for that. From court documents we've learned, a month before his arrest, Carroll was on the radar of Versailles police. This affidavit states on February 27th, a relative told an officer Carol tried to choke and strangle her after she found his parents living in poor conditions. The relative told police Carol threatened to kill everyone, including the police, if she reported him. Mr. Carroll, you are on for arraignment. Since his arrest, Carol remains locked up in the Fayette County Jail on state charges, including fleeing and evading police and use of a weapon of mass destruction. He's pled not guilty and could soon face federal charges. Neighbors we've talked to say they had no idea what Carol was allegedly stockpiling. Many say they're just thankful no one was hurt. To see authorities rush in and take care of the situation the way they did, it was just, it was amazing. Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.